Hey bakers, so the other day Brenna came home from school and said, Mama, school has these absolutely amazing sugar cookies. And I said, I thought you loved my sugar cookies. She goes, I do, but these are soft, chewy, ooey, gooey sugar cookies and you make hard sugar cookies that get decorated. I said, oh. I said, well, bring me one home so I can taste it and I'll make you them. And she goes, oh, I did bring you them home. This, do you see this, this, this is this. Like, this is the size of cookie she brought me home to taste test to make her her cookies. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. Wow. wow. That was a lot of vanilla. A, it tastes like really cheap imitation vanilla poured into that. We're going to make that a little bit better. But I can come up with something. Okay, game on, Brenna. Super soft and chewy sugar cookies, just like the lunchroom, but way better. <laughs> All right, the hair is up, and let's get to this. Now, I am doubling my recipe because Brenna said double it because I know I'm going to like them. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so in my bowl, I have two sticks of not melted, but not room temperature butter. It's still opaque, where it still has that creamy color and it's kind of solid, but kind of liquid. All right, and then we're gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna order, add in one cup of sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar. And then one tablespoon of vanilla. And then we are going to add one egg plus one yolk. Mix this super duper well until it's nice and creamy. A hand mixer or a sand mixer would be the best. All right, so this nice and fluffy is what you are looking for. So now for our dry ingredients, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder and two and a half cups of flour. Oh, I showered and so I'm clean. I don't wanna get all ugh. Okay, and we're just gonna keep combining. Now this is going to be a wetter cook sugar cookie dough. It's not gonna be firm and solid that you can roll out. This is gonna be a ice cream scoop type of dough or a scooping with um, a spoon type of dough. All right, get this mixed. Okay, dough is all nice and mixed. And I have my cookie sheets here. Now you're gonna wanna leave space between these cookies because they are going to spread out. And I'm just going to scoop on my dough and I'm gonna pop these in a 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Now what's gonna happen is they're gonna spread and puff and then when we pull them out to cool, they will flatten out and get this really kind of cool crinkly top to them. Um, if you want, you can add some sprinkles onto these like little non pareles and stuff, but um, her school ones didn't have that, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make them just as is. Now, you might be asking yourself, Bailey, you put vanilla in these and you said that the vanilla in the cookie tasted weird. You're not wrong, I did say that. And I said it because the vanilla in those cookies tasted cheap and imitation. Now, there is a difference between good and bad vanilla. Now, there is nothing wrong with using imitation vanilla. However, these cookies, the main flavor profile is the sugar in the vanilla. So using a cheap dollar store vanilla not a good flavor, and let's be real, my kids go to public school, so therefore it's cheap vanilla. Does my kids still like the cookies? Yeah. Who doesn't like crappy food sometimes? It's good. All right, let's get these baked off, and let's see if I made my recipe better, but very close to what she was looking for. Fingers crossed. She's a 13-year-old girl, and very hard to please right now. <laughs> Mothers and teenagers, Lord help us. All right, so when your school sugar cookies are all done, this is what they're gonna look like. Now, they're squishy, they're meant to be, and they have that nice, just like barely golden brown, barely cooked softness to them. Now, I know what I think they should taste like, but Brenna is the real test because these are what she wanted me to make. She does not wanna be on camera right now, so I'm going to hand her hers. Ready? Oh, that's soft. Hang on. All right. I told her she had to speak up because she's behind the camera. Okay, Brenna. What is your take on my version of your school's sugar cookie? 
personally. They're a lot better than the school's sugar cookies. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a sickness from eating them anymore, so that's nice. Did you get sick from eating the school ones? Mm, probably. <laughs> Note to self, don't let her eat school cookies anymore. Do you think they're better than your school's? Um, I don't have to live in fear when I eat them, so that's always a plus. Um, and they're a lot, the vanilla tastes a lot better. Um, overall, I rate them like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I'll take it. It's math of a 13 year old. Call it a win. Try this recipe out, you guys. And um, don't eat your school's cookies. And don't eat your school's cookies. <laughs>